So I dropped out of this college exactly five years ago and fast forward to now, I've been able to make $700,000 online in cash by dropping out. And it wasn't the way that I planned, but in this video, I just wanna talk about my experience dropping out of college. You know, this is a uh, community college and coming from an Asian immigrant family and parents, I was always told, Caleb, you need to make sure you go to college, whatever you do. And that was the only goal. And that was the only reason why my parents came all the way down to America from Korea to make sure that we had an education. And the one thing that they wanted me to do, I didn't do. And so they spent 20 plus years building me up as a man to have me then go to college. And I decided not to do that. And looking back for me, what I was thinking of during that time was I knew that if I went down the college route, I was in these classrooms. And I remember one day being in these classrooms. This was after like two weeks of being in classes. And I dropped out three weeks after. And I was in my math class. And here's an old guy talking about, he's doing some sort of economics or some complicated math problem. And at the time I was just dabbling around in the internet world. You know, how to make money online, the agency space, Iman Gatsi, Ty Lopez. And I thought to myself, man, like how, how much money do you, do you think this guy's making? And I, I searched online and a teacher's salary at a professor is like 40, 40,000, 50,000, you know, maybe a hundred grand at most. And I knew that, okay, well, breaking that down into a monthly payment, that's $8,000 I would have to make. And so what I decided to do at this college, I decided that I was going to go to college, tell my parents I was still going but spend all of my time instead of doing homework, instead of actually studying for college, I was going to learn how to make money online. And so I went to college, I showed up and I did what I needed to do. But majority of my time, I was learning how to make money online. And like I said, five dollars, five years ago. And I'm so glad that I made that decision because now if I went down that path to learn things that didn't apply to where I am today, I promise you I'd be unfulfilled. I'd probably be in a job that I hate. I wouldn't be able to make the money that I, I've made because I haven't learned the skills that I wanted to learn and that are actually valuable to society. And this is the big thing I find that most people go to college, most people, if you're watching this, if you're going to college to learn things that you don't care about or that are not gonna add value to what you're gonna do in the future, then you need to rethink why you're going. You need to rethink why you're going. All right, and this is pretty ironic because I'm recording this at a college right now, so I might get kicked off. But I'm serious. Like I have I have a deep conviction that anybody if you want to learn how to make money online instead of college, that is the better route for most people because most people do not know why they're going to college. All right? But everybody wants to make some money. Everyone wants to be financially free. And so I encourage you, instead of going and learning from people that don't make money online or don't make money at all, learn from people that have made money. There's Naval, there's so many great teachers on the internet that you can learn from. And it just takes you to go down the rabbit hole and want more for yourself. And that's what I did five years ago. I, did, I made that jump. And five years from now, I just got back from living in Bali for, for a year, for one year. I truly know that at any point in my life, I, I know I can make a certain amount of money and I know I can move to a place that allows me to have financial freedom where I don't have to worry about money. And that took five years. That was a five year process. But now I have this experience in life. I have the rest of my life, 50 years plus to be able to enjoy the fruits of my labor that I only did for two, three years to really build a foundation. So college is four years. Are you gonna spend four years playing around, learning things that don't really bring value to you? Or are you gonna take those four years and apply it to yourself?